Hi there, Firebirds fans, and welcome to another episode of The Fireplace brought to you by Suncorp. I'm your host, Claire McMenamin, and I'm very excited today to be joined by the Jamaican shooting sensation from the Queensland Firebirds. It's, of course, Ramelda Antoinette Aiken. Ramelda, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thanks, Claire. Thanks for having me. How did you pull up after the match? Um, look, uh, very sore, but also very excited that we got a chance to, you know, get to one of the big teams in the competition. They are, um, of course, on top of the ladder. Uh, <laughs> so um, I think it was really good that we were able to get out there and compete and be able to do our homework and, you know, get out there and do what we're supposed to do. And you mentioned doing your homework and I thought you just had such a great game against Courtney Bruce. She's the leading goalkeeper, I think, at the moment in the Suncorp Super Netball competition. She's been really, really beautiful in terms of her form. And you just came up against her and played the game that I think I know Diddy to play so, so well. You, you teed up, you were holding really nicely and Romelda and Katie seemed to be able to, and Mahalia as well, put in some longer range feeds to you. How did you feel about it? Um, look, Gretz and I were out there um, before leading up to the game. We we talked about how we needed to play a shorter game and go back to what we usually play. Um, and it was good for um, Caitlin and Mahalia to just steady up in the middle to be able to put that high ball in and if it wasn't on Rose would say lower our uh, eyes um, which is really good but I think the fact that we Gretz and I were really persistent and we were really hard on each other how we spoke about we need to be doing less turnovers and steadying our feet and making sure that we place the ball where it's supposed to go so it was really good that we were able to whatever we practice we're able to put it out on court so that was really good for us. And the reason why this lady has come in is because she is the focus of our team girls moment. Diddy you are on the couch with me today because coming into this week's match against the Magpies netball it will be your 150th game in purple. I know, makes me look very old, doesn't it? I know, it? you're so old. But across the 10 years, what do you think's been one of your, like, your favourite memories of being with the Firebirds? Um, I think just probably the first year when I first came to the Firebirds, it was really tough. And um, I mean, you girls just rallied around me and making sure that every day there was something for me to do. And, you know, I was, you guys were able to pick me up and take me back home for training. And I think just like that constant um, support, you know, you need that support when you're away from your family. The other one would be, I guess, um, winning our first championship. Like I know I was just like in all sorts and um, I know my game wasn't where I wanted it to be that year and I had to work harder and dig deeper and the fact that, you know, everyone just rallied around um, myself and Gretz out there in the attacking and it was so exciting. Well, I feel like the Firebirds fans and, and me, I obviously got to play with you for a lot of those matches, but I feel like we've been really privileged because I think we've gotten to see you grown grow up really you know in front of our very eyes and it's not just as a player but you've grown so much as a person as well do you feel like being in this environment and being amongst the Firebirds family has made you more confident and kind of brought out who you are a little bit more and that's not even just on court that's off court as well because I reckon that you sit down and watch you speak now in interviews or you know when I see you at a clinic and you're engaging with young girls and taking them for sessions you could never have done that when you first rocked up in 2008. It, it's like helped you to grow as well, hasn't it? You know, people can get in touch with me and I can go and do something and believe that I can do it. And even if I make a mistake, I know the next time I go, I know what to do and what to expect. So I think that you coming to Australia 10 years ago really revolutionised our game of netball and you brought in that role and really defined the role of what was just a spearhead shooter so thank you for choosing to come <laughs> to us we're very lucky to have had my you. absolute pleasure now we better talk about the game that's coming up this weekend against the collingwood magpies you're heading down to launceston we know you love the cold so you can't wait for it how are you going to prepare for this weekend 
to try and match that performance you had against Courtney Bruce. So two of the key diamonds goalkeepers. So you're coming back to back in terms of who you're playing up against. Um, look, I think it's a great challenge. Um, I think I haven't played against Shani Layton since last last year, last season. Um, th she's such a dynamic player. You don't know what you're going to expect, but you know that she's very vocal out there and she'll do whatever it takes um, to get the ball for her team. So I think for me, it's just to stay within my space, stay in control. It's the same that I did with Courtney. Just try and work myself into the game and not get too carried away with whatever she's got going on. Um, I know the type of player she is and she's very exciting to watch and I love playing against Shani and I'm so excited that I got another opportunity to be playing against her this weekend. It's going to be really exciting and I just can't wait to um, get out there. Ramelda, a big good luck for your 150th match this weekend in Launceston on behalf of all of your Queensland Firebirds family. We wish you a world of luck and we just know you're absolutely going to smash it. And for all of the Firebirds fans at home, you can tune in on Sunday at 3pm via the Telstra Netball Live app. And until next week, go the Firebirds.